Welcome back to Super Tuesday Recap. This is your host, Chris, here. And I'm being joined, as always, by my co-host, D-Palm. And we have, uh, I'm just going to call her another veteran of the Super Tuesday Recap podcast. Uh, and I think this is the second time in a row now on our Arrow podcast. We've had Shanna on. How you doing, Shanna? I'm doing okay. Uh, there's always something going on crazy, so I'm always running around. But I'm happy to be here. I, I don't think you can be a host on the MTR network without that be statement being true. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, yeah, no, it's good to have you on. I uh, hope everyone had a very happy Thanksgiving. Uh, we are only doing this show because <laughs> apparently the CW shows don't give a fuck about holidays and actually put out an episode of Arrow on Thanksgiving because uh, fuck it, right? Why not? Who cares? Like they just said, you know, fuck our lives and want to continue just no no break for no break for us no break for us so that's, just, that's, that's so nice of you. so nice of you guys thank you guys very much for that so um anyway let's get right into this this is the last episode before the giant crossover and just to let you guys know how we're doing this uh it's probably going to be I'm hoping for it just to be one episode one giant episode with um Shannon and the doctor joining up, myself and Deepom and we're going to just put out one hopefully one giant episode if we need to break out of the two we will but hopefully just one giant episode on Wednesday uh, since they are graciously moving uh, Arrow to Monday, to uh, along with Supergirl, to go ahead and do um, the first part of the crossover, and then we'll do we'll just so we will see the whole crossover, and then we can do the review on Wednesday. So if you want to know how that's working, and uh, I'm gonna let you guys know right now, um, I have I decided this year is gonna be the first year I do not catch up on Supergirl before I watch it. So that. Would be a mistake this time around because honestly, it's it's I'm, been a really really great season. So here and I, but here's the thing: I know it's a great season because you and you and you and the doctor are reviewing it. So I so I know what's going on, and that's the only reason why I haven't caught up on it because I basically just listen to you guys' review and go. So I don't have to watch this now, do I? So okay, well I, I guess we're good. So I blame you guys then. So it's you guys need to do. A, a worse job, a uh, 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 much worse job on uh, recapping the episode. So then that'll force me to watch it. So I blame you, Shannon. Thanks. <laughs> a little but um, a little you know, no, but I, I, I do know it's a great season, and I am going to catch up at some point. I honestly, at this point, I could. Other thing, I got to make an announcement for: we're going to get to the Punisher, and we're going to do Runaways at some point. T- TBA to or. T- TBD to be determined. I'm I'm assuming Covering. maybe during the break when these shows go on break, uh, we'll have some time to go ahead and watch the Punisher. Hey, Deep Home, did either of you guys watch the Punisher yet? I finished it. I okay. watched the whole thing. Well, the, hey, you know what? You know what? If everybody else wants to do it, if you guys want to do a Punisher episode without me, don't wait on me. I don't know when I'm going to get to it. So there's that. So <laughs> hey, hey, maybe the Punisher episode will a review will come out. You know, sometime without me on it because I don't want people waiting up on me. How about Runaways? Either you guys see Runaways yet? No, not I'm yet. covering it for Project Fandom, okay. so I'm actually all the way up to episode six, even oh, excuse though us. excuse us, wow, it hasn't been released yet. But yeah, it's really good. That, that's what I, wanna... I actually i I even went so far as to read the comics beforehand to get a sense of what it would be like, and they're doing a really, really good job. So I got a question for that. Yeah, she did. She did. She kind of. She kind of. She kind of shamed. <laughs> she kind of. I feel dunked on. I don't know. She did. She did. She did. She she fence carded us. She did. She did. She, I feel she, dunked on. All yeah, right. she carded us. It's, it's all right. Um. So, a question about that. So, I, I thought I saw this. So, is Hulu doing the thing where they only release like three episodes at a time? Or have they released no, the entire they're season? Doing, like they release the first three, and then I think they're doing it every week. Like they did this for Handmaid's Tale too, and I hate how they do that every week. Like no, this is this is why you're not network TV because I can get it all at once. Like what? it's really frustrating. So wait, so they release three at a time, or they release an episode at a time? No, they release three up front, and now it's going to be one per, per week going forward. Oh fuck that bullshit! No, oh no, no. See, I, I I'm actually okay if they do the three at a time thing because I'm being selfish as a reviewer. That makes it easier for me and actually kind of fix some of our review <laughs> schedules. But when you start doing, because that's the same thing um, they do with Star Trek Discovery, which is actually worse though, because Star Trek Discovery is basically does it every episode, basically every week. And I'm like, but um, guys, guys, I, um, why? Would I, I applaud this decision. Otherwise, I would just get Hulu for the, and binge it and then not get Hulu anymore. 
Oh, so you Ow. mean so you mean what I'm doing oh, with talking? So, so you mean what what I'm doing with CBA? But see, but 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 Debo, no, I'm borrowing someone to log in. Spoilers, I'm not actually getting. That. Well, I was about to say, well, Debo, all you got to do then is just wait until the show's all there, and then you Over. get the first. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> all I'm saying is, I understand. I see the hustle, and I tip my cat. Right, right, right. But well, that's what it is. The hustle. It's like, but what I don't under, what what gets me about this is, is they think we're stupid. It's like, guys, that's not how this works. I'm just gonna just gonna wait. Either I'm already paying for Hulu. Or I'm just gonna wait until it's all there, and then I'm gonna get it. Like, wh- why would I? Why would I pay? Why would I pay for weekly TV? Like, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you to pay exactly. for network TV. It's like, why? Why would I do that? That's it's worth a shot. <laughs> do you guys like, shoot, shoot, mad at them for trying? Shoot your shot. And that's what this is. We're trying to. Are you mad at them? What? Because they like money? Like, why was he mad at that? <laughs> Well, like Shanna said, this is why you're not. This is why you know you're not. This, this is why you're not going to ever shine uh, Netflix's shoes or do more than shine Netflix's shoes. Cause Netflix ain't doing that shit. Netflix is just like here. I mean, for me, <laughs> for me, it just work works out better when I can binge it, or it's week by week, like I one or the other. When it's both, it's it's very frustrating. <laughs> That, is, that was weird. It's like, so, so, you, did you, did you, because I was trying to figure out why more people weren't talking about Runaways, and I find out, I was like, oh, wait, the entire season's not out yet? Well, maybe they're, I thought maybe they were doing the, um, the Amazon thing, where Amazon releases, like, the tick, and they do, like, the first half of the season, and then they really, you know, they kind of, they still do, like, a mid-season break, and they'll bring back, then the second half, I think they're doing that with the tick, and I think they did it with Voltron and things like that. I thought they were doing it that way, and people were like, oh, no, no, it's still week to week. It's like, wait, I don't understand week to week and um, streaming service. I don't, I don't, I still don't understand that concept. I just, it's very weird to me. So, anyway. Anyway, so, uh, just, uh, we're going a long way off topic here, but just all this to say, um, we are going to be reviewing those at some point, and they will be up on the network at some point. Um, we'll probably, the Punisher will probably be a Super Tuesday recap. Like I said, if Shanna and, and Deepon want to get together, and maybe other people who have seen it on the network already, and they want to review it uh, without me because I get—I don't know when I'm going to see it. Uh, then that—that'll happen. I'll be on the Super Tuesday recap uh, for Runaways. That probably will be end up being on a premium show, part of our premium streaming uh, stuff. So um, we're running a sale right now. So if you want to, you know, Black Friday sale and Super Cyber Monday sale. So if you want to be a premium member, a lot of people signed up right now. It's twenty percent off. So um, go ahead and do that. We got a lot of cool stuff coming out for you. Anyway, let's get into this. Um, talking to Arrow, Season 6, Episode 7, Thanksgiving. Oliver celebrates Thanksgiving with his family, but the happy moment is interrupted. Well, actually, he's not really celebrating this. I hate whoever writes these synopsis is on fucking IMDb. They're so wrong. Meanwhile, Black Siren returns to wreak havoc on the holidays. Um, there's something that I think we kind of mentioned last week when we were doing the episode. This, the CW this week, even though it was a holiday week, decided they weren't going to they, they, they weren't gonna take any days off. Like, these aren't filler episodes. They're still kind of, like, serious. Right. And um, we got some serious moments in this episode I, I wasn't dealing with. Um, well, first, I want to start with something that I talked to. And now that we have Shannon on, this will be good to get your opinion on this. I don't think we've ever talked about Agent Watson. But I remember when, I, when she first came out, I was kind of interested in her story. And I know Deepom was kind of lukewarm on her. Uh, I'm now with Deepom on this because they're just making her to be a bitch. She's, she's just the rote authority figure here to shake things up. There's nothing special about her. I was, She's detecting Lance from season two. Right, and I, I was kind of hoping for more from her. Because she's just mean for no reason. And I'm I'm waiting for... So I... I Go ahead. <laughs> I'm biased because I like the actress a lot. So Me, I'm, I'm just loving everything that she's doing. <laughs> well, no, I, I, like, I like the actress. And I, I guess my thing is I want to see more. You know what it is? You know what it reminds me of? Because we talk, we all, we've all talked about the gifted. We all watch the gifted. I was expecting more along the lines of what they do with Jace. Mm-hmm. Like, give me a reason yeah. that she's like this because it doesn't make any sense right now. It's like she's just she's from the FBI. She's the, like 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 Deepom said. We've done this before already. But even then, when we did it with Quentin, it made sense. Here, she's not even. She don't even go here. Like she's yo, going back to Washington. She's leaving. She's like, I'm leaving town, but don't get comfortable on the phone. You're like, what? Wait, yo, she was like, I'm going back to Washington. Why would, you announce, why would you announce you're leaving? Like, wait, so wait a minute. So you mean to tell me you've been this thorn in the side of Team Arrow for the first half of the season already? And you don't even go here? You don't have roots here? Like, 
Well, you're going home. What do you mean home? Like going to Star City? No, no, I'm going back to Washington D.C. What the fuck? Wait, what is? <laughs> what, are, what, are you, what are you doing here? But do you think? I'm hoping that there's more to it. Do you think it's going to be a thing where we find out later that because they they sprung this whole thing with Kate and James out of nowhere that he has a son? Do you think they're going to do something like that later where we find out that she does have a personal reason? I get it. It does not make sense. It also doesn't make any sense that the FBI. Guy is going so hard at vigilantes and the Green Arrow now. Right. Like, this should have been happening for seasons if that was the case. Well, and, and, and that's my point. Like, it doesn't... <laughs> it, it's so funny because, you know, uh, it was Arrow talking about doing a uh, Black Lives Matter episode. And I'm like, oh, so God, let me get this straight. No. Let, me, let me get this straight. So, uh, this reminds me of, like, the FBI can't, like, prosecute uh, cops or anything like that, but can find a time to prosecute somebody for like you know selling weed on the corner, it's just like, really, guys. Do you, you, this is what you, this is what you drew the the line at. I can't. This is this is ridiculous. So I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they give her more. But I actually kind of feel like the way they've handled it, it won't have the impact it did with Jace. Like I said, I, at this point, I'm comparing it to. We've gone too far. We've gone too far with her. Right. It's like with Jace, they start off. They start off with this whole idea that something happened to his daughter. That caused him to be this way, and by episode five, I believe it was. Was it five? Or it might have been. It might have been a little bit later. Five, they haunted. They they tease it out. He's kind of haunted by something. Right. He's and then, and then when they tell you, you're like, <laughs> oh, I totally understand why he's off the deep end. But they still show you. They still show you some ideas of him, like being this. Like maybe I'm going too far. Maybe this is too much. Maybe I shouldn't. Like they give. He's part of the story. Agent Watkins never felt part of the story. She's just been this per- this right. outside person yeah. who comes in, and like I said, it, I hate to use the term, but she she just comes in being a bitch. It's like there's nothing to her. There's nothing to make yeah. you go, I care about what she's doing. I, again, it says nothing about the actress. I think she's doing a great job for what they're giving her, but they're not actually giving her enough. Like they had another black woman. Remember the other black woman that was um on that elite squad of they 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 did the anti she was on the anti vigilante yeah. task force. They did more with her. And like just a few, like a one episode, than they have with, um, with Agent Watch in, in all these episodes because it doesn't make any sense. Like Dinah pointed it out, and and again, maybe they are teasing it out because they are, granted, in in their defense, this is like a longer season than The Gifted, but like Dinah pointed it out, and, and like when they were having the conversation between Dinah, uh, Renee, and I think Curtis, when Curtis was like, yeah, so we're next, right? Aren't they going to like bring us in next? Or they're bringing in Oliver. And like I think Renee was like, don't you watch cop shows? They always use the little fish to get the big fish. They went up the big fish first. Kind of doesn't make sense. Like why? She, like we're not even under investigation. She's not even coming after us. And it makes you wonder. It's like, what is her? Why is she just going after Oliver? She knows that Diggle's the Green Arrow. She knows that she knows who the entire team is. Why is she only going after mm-hmm. Oliver? And um, so maybe they are trying to tease something out, but like it feels like they're not doing a good job story with it. <laughs> I can't. I mean, yeah. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. I don't care. She. Uh, we're at a point where I, we're deep enough in the season. You don't even begin to hint at it. I don't care. No, you're right. I. I. I think. I. Yeah. I'm. I had to bring it up because uh, I remember uh, I was really excited at first, and uh, Deep Hop said something that he wasn't, and I was hoping to prove him wrong, and I've to the point where uh, he's not wrong on this one. I. I just. <laughs> like I said, I, I, I'm really because I wanted I wanted them to do something with her, but they they really just haven't. They, oh man, it's just. It's, I think for me, it's more that I just want. I I want them to be better at writing black women, strong women, not just black women, strong women characters. Because I feel like they don't know how to. I feel like with this whole thing, what I thought would have been really cool is if Laurel was still around. I know that's weird to say, but. Like, seeing Laurel as, like, the prosecutor kind of deal with this whole referendum and all this kind of stuff, I thought that would have been interesting. Mm. I feel like they don't know how to write women who already come in. They they know how to write broken women. I don't think they know how to write women who come in like, no, I'm doing this. (laughs) And they did the same thing with Amanda Waller. Like, she was very forceful and really interesting. We never got any backstory. Yeah, yeah. no. No, you're right. And then they killed her off. 
So God, if they kill off Agent Watson for for nothing, whatever this ended up. Oh, you happen. know that's happening. Oh yeah. First um, of all, I think it's just happening because they're not going to be able to keep that actress around. Yeah. Well, it's it's, like it's she's, it's, she's Black Panther is coming out. She's going to be out there doing all sorts of stuff with Black Panther. Um, that reminds me. So, are you watching Legends of Tomorrow? Of course. Yeah. So it, it makes you wonder because, like, how do you feel about the woman written on that show? I don't know what is the difference between the Legends of Tomorrow <laughs> room and everything else um, that's happening on the CW shows. The Legends of Tomorrow is just out there doing their own thing. It's all awesome. Yeah. I, I don't know what the difference is or why they have it together. I love how they write Sarah. Um, I really like how they write Amaya. I don't even know if that's all written or if it's just the actress because sometimes she's just in the background making all the faces. Mm-hmm. I love Zari. Um, even like this whole thing with Kuasa, I also really love that um, actress. She was most recently on Quantico and she was a villain on that as well. I don't know. I feel like Legends has a, a totally different writer's room situation going on. Yeah, that, I, I, that's why I brought it up. I wanted to make sure because I felt the same way. It's just, it makes no sense to me that you have, because they clearly have collaboration between the rooms. And I know, I, I, I know writing rooms are different, but it's like, why can't you look over with, why, why can't you look over the shoulders of the writing rooms over in Legends Tomorrow? Because, because, you know, they, they're getting it. They understand how to bring in a character like that. So I don't know how to bring it up in there. Uh, anyway, let's move on. Um, ah, Felicity being a 53 percenter on this episode, man. So great. So she took the angel investment money to bail out Oliver didn't tell uh, her business partner. Um, she, she, I, I, I think Curtis is wrong on the, the whole thing about picking the technology they were going to, they were going to use. Cause I'm like, I thought Curtis brought that up to begin with. So that was kind of a weird thing for Curtis to get mad about. Um, but then the name of the, the name of the, the, the company, I can also definitely see that. Like, you know, uh, Felicity was, um, yeah, Curtis is right here. Felicity is definitely wrong. You know, Felicity is so wrong in this one. And then uh, got a little upset, and so I, I kind of, I kind of felt that. I kind of, kind of, you know, was team curse on this one. Like Felicity got to chill a little bit here. She's um, going a little over the overboard. And then she had the nerve to try to get mad at him for using the experimental um, nanites to fix John. Which again, I can understand that he should have run some more tests. Uh, but at the same time, Felicity, you you are in no position to talk to anybody about. This. Yeah, but but that, that's one that actually like, endangered their friend. That one I was like, okay, okay, we can get mad about that one. Well, not in a so, business sense, but on 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 not testing it more. Like, I get that. Yeah, yeah. I was with I was with Curtis just because. And to me, the other stuff was petty. If you didn't like the name, you should have said something about not liking the name. If you wanted to do a different project, you should have said something about wanting to do a different project. Although both of them were coming up with tons of ideas that were horrible, so <laughs> that is a moot point. Um, my thing was how dare she get mad at him when she knew that she had just given their money to bail Oliver out. And did that's what pissed me. Yo, it like and hadn't told him yet. It didn't even blink as she got angry. I was like, there's that fifty three percent right there in you. Like I feel like every 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 white woman got it in him because it's just like it came out and I'm like, uh, Felicity, um, excuse me. And Oliver even told her, he was like, hey, listen, you probably shouldn't do this. I, can I just say, I love, I, I love reasonable Oliver this season, where Oliver's kind of like, crazy, right? Oliver always like, yeah, this is probably not a good idea, guys. We probably shouldn't do this. And everybody's like, no, it's fine. It'll be okay. And Oliver's like, I don't know. I really don't want you to do that. And they do it anyway. And I'm like, I just need Oliver to keep going, man. So that's what I felt like. That's what it felt like when I was doing this five years for five years. It is so good. Like, I was like, yeah, no, you definitely shouldn't do that. It's probably a bad idea. Oh, no, I am not. I'm, I'm going to do it. Oh, well, okay. I'm just saying, um, I'm not in it. Just leave me. Oh, he's leave. doing his best, man. He's trying to, he's doing everything he can. Like, maybe, but I know I'm not in charge of anything. No, you're right. You're right. I, I, I did retire, but <laughs> me, myself, if, if I was in your shoes, <laughs> I would listen to me. <laughs> right. I love in this scene between uh, Curtis and, and Felicity when they started arguing, Renee just kind of backed into the bushes like Homer did in that gif. 
<laughs> yep. episode, he was just like, nope, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to run the algorithms. I got to figure out what algorithms mean first, but I'm going to go do that shit. All right. So dictionary first, then algorithm. Whatever it requires me not to be here at this point. It was extra frustrating because Curtis was already beating himself up over it. Right. That That's something that I personally have issue with because I know I'm already my harshest critic. <laughs> so if I'm already feeling down on myself and then here you come talking about some, I can't believe you, da 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 um, so I see why he threw out the other petty stuff. <laughs> he was like, how are you just going to do this? How are you just going to do that? Because he was like, <laughs> he was reaching. But I, I understood his reach because he's like, you have like you, I'm already apologizing. But here's here the thing. You, come. you know what makes it worse, though? She was more upset at Curtis than Diggle for not telling her. And it's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How are you more upset at Curtis and not Diggle when he's a fucking problem. <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah. Um, that was, um, that, that was, but it was real. Cause I can see that happening. And what I love about this season is that they're making it so the conflicts don't really involve Oliver for the most part. They involve other team members, which I think is something that we've needed to see. Excuse me, because it's, this has really been a great season in, in building up the other characters on the show. And I think that that's something that they've kind of struggled with before. Um, but you kind of see other things. Didn't Oliver have his petty fight this week, too? So I didn't call it a petty fight, though. So we're getting to the Oliver and Diggle thing, because I definitely sided with Oliver on this one. Um, but uh, what? actually, we'll do it right now. Oh, Oliver's a thousand percent right. Oh, no, Oliver was definitely right. Because here's but the thing. Diggle was right, too. No, he wasn't. Diggle was wrong as shit. Yeah, Diggle was wrong as shit. Because here's the thing. We had brought up before that, that, um, like Oliver, like Oliver asked Diggle to do this, and Diggle kind of put aside his family, some like of that. But something that Diggle could have said no. Diggle never, Which, he never told Oliver that he had a he was having nerve problems. He never told right. Diggle that he never told Oliver that he couldn't do it because of his own family. I, it's not like Oliver forced this on Diggle. He asked Diggle if he would do it, and Diggle said yes. He never, he never forced this on Oliver, and it's like. Diggle knew. Diggle knew he had problems. Diggle knew that he had Yo, nerve damage. Just say something. Right. That's all he had. Okay. It's, the same thing, it's, the same thing, it's the same thing Diggle tells Oliver to do for five seasons. And then right. Diggle doesn't do it himself. Don't be so prideful. Ask for help. Yeah. Okay. I don't think Oliver was wrong. I Good do time. think... I do think that both of them had a point because even... So I like what Diggle said at the end about the, the last crossover... Oh, no, that was great. I, I, I did, it, yeah. They tossed that in and made it really count for something. Um, the last crossover and how his better life was being the Arrow. So it is clearly something that he wanted. And so this was his chance to step up and have it. And that's why he didn't tell the truth. But at the same time, I do think there was a part of him that's like, hey, you're asking me to step up and do this for you so that you can take care of your child and your family as if I don't have a family too. So I think that part was right. It was petty because like you said, he could have said no, but I think it was still, it, it was still truthful to him. Yeah. But I think so. And I think they even in a way I, I get that, but here's the thing. <clears throat> One Diggle was already in the field anyway as Spartan. So right. it's not like he was, it's not like Oliver was asking him to do something that he kind of wasn't already doing. Oliver was asking him to basically lead the team. So he wasn't asking, he wasn't pulling Diggle out from his civilian life when he was living with his child and his, and his, and his wife uh, and, 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 and living the good life. One more job situation. Yeah, it wasn't that. It's like, hey, listen, you're already out here in the field. I need to, I, I only, it's, uh, Wilm only has me. I need to well, promote you, John. Yeah, I'm giving you a promotion. Can you do it? And all Diggle had to do was say, hey, man, I can't. And Oliver would have understood. I think that's the, the to me, that's the big difference. And Because, yeah, now we know that this season Oliver would have gotten it. Yeah. And, and, and I think that, um, that, and that's to me why Diggle is so wrong here. It's like, it was, a, it was an excuse. It was, a, it was a logic I used like a couple weeks ago. I was like, hey, you know what? 
you know, Oliver did ask Diggle when he has his own family. But when we thought about it, it's like, wait a minute. He's already out here in the field. He's already risking his life, even though he has a child out here and he has a wife who's an Argus. He just, he's fine. And he's been doing that. All, all Oliver really asked him to do was, hey, change, change uniform. Because <laughs> if you think about it, Diggle's right. already taken in command. And so, um, yeah, it was, but I'm not going to lie, man, that argument, it was, I can see why, and, and, and even then, Oliver still came in with a bigger man and apologized first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I am not used to this new Oliver, yo. <laughs> like, I am it's, not. It's full on hero Oliver, man. We're gonna, this is the hero Green Arrow, not Vigilante. Right. This is a hero. Right. And um, I, it, it was big. And I it, am actually okay with Oliver always apologizing first, whether he's wrong or not, because there were so many years he didn't apologize for oh, shit. No, no. Oh, no. He's making up for <laughs> shit. Oh, yeah. No, he got he's, it. He's make, these are makeup apologies. I, uh, uh, hot take here. I'm actually not wrong. I'm not. I'm not. I'm actually not. Not. Like upset that he got arrested this episode, because I'm like, hey, dude, you kind of do deserve to be in jail for a little bit, like just like a, like maybe a night, cool your heels off, because you were killing a lot of people your first season. I, it, the thing is, I I felt bad for him because even though he totally deserves to be arrested, she really did do that at a moment. Like he was having his whole big. We were in raise like mo- enough kid, money man. to give out twelve hundred meals to families and happy Thanksgiving, and they hear. Hey Shannon, wait! You got cut off. Wait. Oh, oh you, you got, Shannon! Yeah, you, you got cut off there for a little bit. You he went on for a little bit there, uh, but no, you're you're absolutely right on that one. You know what the worst thing to me was though. Yo, know, how you get arrested and booked in the in, in your own precinct? You just got built. Like that's the shit right there. That's the fucked up shit. Like you, the first person booked in the new police the police department. It's Oliver Queen. Grand opening, grand. He's like, open. welcome to our new state of the art, <laughs> our new state of the art police department. I like how they walked him in. Everybody was like, Mayor Queen, it's great to see you. Um, I'm sorry, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, we are booking you. Right, okay. Right. I wanna like that's gonna be a Jeopardy question one, in Star City one year. It's like, who was the first person booked in the new police the new police station? Uh Oliver Queen? Correct! Oliver Queen was the first person I'm booked. Sorry, in. Who is Oliver Queen? Right, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, that was so good. Did you hear him put his that bass in his voice when he was like, "I want to speak to my son," and she was like, "No." He was like, "I want to speak to my." Oh yeah. He, I I would have loved it if Watson said, "Hmm, sounds kind of Green Arrow is there right there." You know, sounds kind of like the Green Arrow. Uh huh. Uh huh. Put a little. Put a little. Put a little. Uh. Put a little bass in that voice and got a little, got a little angry. It's like, now I'm demanding my son. Swear to me. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, all right, all right, Mayor. Yo, Mayor they Queen. They had to wrestle in front of his kid. Huh? Yeah, you are. No. They had to wrestle in front of his kid. That was that was fucked up. And I gotta say, yo, Oliver is being surprisingly calm throughout this whole entire yo, thing. So the fact that he hasn't busted out, he hasn't hit anybody yet. I'm like, yo, this is Oliver on some beta blockers. Oliver, better let me do chemistry. This is not a calm man. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, yo, next week when they fight Nazis, we're going to see peak Oliver Queen. He's going to have to finally have a chance to fucking let loose. And I can't I wait. Back. Why? Because they're fucking Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So that's the other thing that's kind of cool about this is. Technically, if Diggle gets better, he's still going to be Green Arrow. Black Arrow. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're right. <laughs> dark, dark Green Arrow. Forest Green Arrow. Forest. <laughs> yeah, they're the worst. <laughs> but um, no, I thought that was kind of it's like no, if you want to be back in the suit once you get better. I mean, another thing could be that he doesn't get better. Um, and and this shows how they they found a way to keep how Diggle is not in uh the crossover next week or not really having a big role in the crossover. And it's like, mm-hmm. well, he's um recovering. So makes sense. And you also get Oliver back in the suit. Uh, and um, yeah, I not too bad, not too shabby there. And um, I thought that was I thought that was pretty done. Uh, he's back to lying to Wilm though. I think he should have just. That's the one. That's the one lie that I'm like Oliver. 
ah, this is the one time you probably shouldn't lie. Every other time I'm looking at Oliver, like, yeah, you should probably I'm lie. right with you. And think about it. This entire show is based on the lies of his father. Right. And I'm like. And, why, and he's trying to break that cycle. I salute you, Oliver Queen. It's not going to work, but nice try. Mm-hmm. They're like, mm. Right. When Will was like. I'm just. When, when Will started putting that shit together, it was like, wait a minute. So, Diggle, if you took over for Green Arrow for my dad and you're in here, who was in the suit? During the and, and and they were like, oh well, um, well the team was there, but Green Arrow wasn't there. I'm like, uh, don't you want some ice cream, kid? <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at that over there, right. squirrel? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just like, uh huh. Uh, like, uh, yeah, we don't too smart for that, guys. Uh, you guys are not going to want to do this. Like, this, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. You might want to stop this right now. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna turn really bad. It's gonna turn really bad here. So just. I'm always I, like so so on William. Yeah, like I I feel like he should be old enough to get it, and so he frustrates me sometimes because sometimes I feel like he does get it. He's like, oh, you have to like with the slave thing. He was like, oh, you have to do this. You're helping a friend. I get it. I'm still worried about you because you're the only parent I have left. But I get it, and so I don't think there's anything wrong with being like. So I did hand it over to Diggle. Diggle is not well, and he can't lead the team. And there's big stuff happening. We're afraid that there's a threat, so I have to do it. I yeah, think he's I, old enough to get it. I, I I also see the same thing of like either you said you're going to stop, or you're now you're backsliding. Like I see both sides of it. Right. Here, and, here. and and yeah. I, I definitely see what side of it. Here's the thing. I'm just saying you might want to be up front with him because if you don't, you might turn out to be like Slade's son. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, that's totally happening. <laughs> right, right. This is like, he going to going because here's the thing. We people don't know, uh, Slade's son figured, Joseph was like, oh, so Queen has a, has a son now? Interesting. I'm like, mm, yeah, so that's not interesting. That's ominous, and I'm very worried now. So, yeah. Uh, yeah they're, they're definitely going to figure that out. And, I can't be the only one that kind of figured out that they were getting set up uh, to fight cops, even though they were fake cops, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I knew that was going to. I was like, we knew there was something going to go down with the referendum to, to basically outlaw vigilantes. And I will say, I, I, while I've been liking this season, this is the one thing that makes me nervous going forward, because we've done this before. And not like in other seasons... Like I know a lot of people last season were like, well, this has been done before. They're kind of... Re-, and I'm like, yeah, but not really. With this one, it feels like we've been in the way in, in, in this in this in this thing where we've had vig- the 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 city turn against vigilantes, and it also kind of feels kind of weird that all of a sudden the tide turned and one and the day of it went, yeah. right. It doesn't it oh, doesn't no, work that. That I'm, is how elections work. I was say, that's how like I come with surprises happen. But yeah. not the day of though. But, not the day of. Yeah, usually it's like within the. It's, Usually, like within that last week, something. Actually, happens. you know, I just got a text from Jim Comey. He said, "Yes, it does." <laughs> but not the day of. Not the not the day of the actual. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but that, and that's what I'm saying. It's like it just kind of feels kind of weird. Plus, not to mention, we're living in a in, in a world where way more more might actually win that Senate race in Alabama. Oh, that's I'm happening. I'm just. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, just I'm sorry. I just it just ran. It was just kind of looking at one of those things. Like, come on. I, and not to mention, it was. I think to me that the reason for it was because it was such a the last episode. It was such a big swing. Like it was seventy. 70% of people were against the law outlawing, outlawing uh, vigilantes. And like, you mean to tell me that this, this video goes viral? And because we all, come on, like that's, it needs to be a bigger story than that. I'm sorry, the day of the election before it can turn. But I know I'm nitpicking here, but whatever. It, it, like I said, my bigger thing is I'm, I'm, I'm really interested and nervous about how they handle that. And um, what goes on with that? I would love to see that this is part of. Caden James's whole thing, because who 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 was his son? Like, what's the connect? Like, do we? Yeah, we're, don't know. We're gonna find I'm out. We're gonna still play that one. Yeah, like I'm, I'm hoping that it's because the other thing that makes me nervous. We kind of already did this last season with. They had to figure out a way to make it different than what we did with um, Prometheus. Mm-hmm. And I, the thing with last season is that it felt very deliberate. Right. It felt very deliberately like we are rehashing these stories, but we're rehashing them in a way to show you something new about our characters. 
this feels very like we have been here and done this before, which is why I'm hoping that we um, actually get, uh, what's the thing? Uh, I hope that we get more about Canary and, and Quentin and about uh, new Canary and Vigilante and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think those sort that is going to be way more interesting. Seeing Dinah and um, Dinah and Quentin kind of bonding over that, you know, about both of them kind of letting people go. It's like when when Dinah says to, to Quentin, "Hey, we're we're good people, Quentin." You know, basically, like we're not bad people because we care about these uh, these people that were in our lives or we think we're in our lives. Because again, it's it's not the same Laurel that's you know in there, but. We saw something last season. They did something with Laurel that kind of made when she pulled Quentin out from the other people and things like that. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see um, what goes on with that. And um, something else we were going to say. Oh, Thea back, kind of, in a wheelchair. Oh, yeah. But I'm Thea's thinking, awake. Yeah, she's awake. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. And that's another thing, what I mean about how they don't know how to write strong women, because I feel I like... I think they did a good job with the last two seasons. I think, but it's because she's barely been around. I feel like they don't know how to use her now that she can defend herself. Hmm. Like, she got way more screen time and storyline when she was still kind of helpless. I don't know. She was kind of the driving force for a couple seasons there with her dying and being brought back and kind of circulated the entire story around her and uh, and uh, Merlin's relationship and Ollie's relationship. I thought that having her like hang up the hood was actually a pretty strong character in the last couple seasons. But yeah, but then she kind no, of disappeared. I, yeah. But then her time gets. Well, well, that's yeah because her character arc's kind of done. We've gone from helpless victim to vigilante to undead ninja vigilante to campaign manager. How how do how do you think she, they're doing with Dinah so far this season? I love Dinah. I really, really like what they're doing with her. Okay, because because I think I think that might be the thing. Like I think they replaced kind of replaced Thea with Dinah yeah. on the show, and so I think they're doing a a, a decent job at least because in the last season they weren't. You know they kind of just threw her in halfway through the season. This season I yeah, feel like yeah, they're yeah. trying to make her a really a bigger piece here. Um, Felicity is kind of just sitting there. They don't really have a lot to do with Felicity. Um, and Dinah, like the one time, the one thing I didn't like this episode, man, when Renee was like, we have more experience than Dinah, I was like, are you fucking kidding? And doing what? I was like, if someone will slap the shit out of Renee right now, and she was just kind of like, no, he's right. I was like, no, he's not right. What are you talking about? You are a police officer. You are a meta. You are the best person on the fucking team. You can, you can handle Renee in hand-to-hand combat. What the fuck is Renee talking about? Like, you literally are, she's literally a police detective right now. Matter of fact, isn't she the highest, the highest ranking person next to the police she's commissioner? The lieutenant on duty. No, no, what is he talking about? Like, what is, I, I, looked at, I looked at Renee like, Renee, what are you? What you, like your your biggest thing this episode was you you were the front man for the for the for, 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 for putting that shit together. You weren't you're actually not a detective. You're not technically supposed to carry a fucking gun. Like what are we doing here, dude? Like what are we when doing? Renee said it. When Renee said it, he was saying to himself, "Look tough, look tough." Look tough. <laughs> look tough, look tough, look tough like look tough. I wanted. Yeah, they got it. Yeah, they bought it. I, I wanted, I wanted, I, I wanted, I wanted Dinah to kind of whisper to him, but in, like using her powers, but like, shut up, <laughs> and just have him send him so flying across the room. Like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Dinah could definitely take over the fucking team. What are you, what are you, what are you thinking, dude? Like, she was a, she was a one man, she was a one woman wrecking machine before you guys found her. What are you talking about? She didn't need you guys. I remember, I distinctly remember her kicking your ass. What is this? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I had a little moment there. I've decided that anytime something like that happens involving a woman, I'm like, Christberg wrote that. He wrote that before I kicked him off. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just like, that's horrible. Christberg must have done it. Like, I, like, the thing that got me was just like, there was no, like, nobody else was like, Renee, shut the fuck up. That's stupid. Like, Felicity kind of did, but not really. And I was just like. Um, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Like when, like his, like I was like somebody needed somebody needed to slap the shit out of Renee for that one, yo. That was just Renee. That's whatever. Um, he did have a good moment when he called uh, what do you call? It? He called Felicity Hossett or something like that. I'm just like, this dude knows. <laughs> he's sneaky. One of the better parts of the show. No, he like 
<laughs> you know what it is to me? He's becoming the better written uh, Nate. Because <laughs> wow. he, he be having his dude bro moments, but everybody be looking at him like, dude, the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> so, yeah, Renee is, he's special. So, there's that. Um, oh, and shout out to uh, Kate and James using uh, Robin Hood names for the team. <laughs> so, that was actually kind of cool. So, um, I think that was it. Anything? Anybody got anything else for this episode? <clears throat> that was good for me. I'm ready for this, over, uh, this uh, uh, crossover. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yes. I'm really excited yeah. for this. Like, I'm excited because it, it really seems like it's not a crossover in the sense of it's not about let's hop from show to show. It's just like one big this story. is going to be a four hour movie with all of our characters from right. all the different shows. I'm really excited for that. Like seeing Oliver hop through the uh, the portal that uh, Vibe opened up. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I can't wait for this. Oh, that was that was the moment where I was just like, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> bitch, give me this episode now. Are you kidding? This is the stuff that I live for. And then there was um, that that week t- the, when the trailer, this week on Gifted, too, they had like a similar scene yeah, see. where um, Blink opened a breach and Thunderbird jumped through it. I'm like, this is all I want. <laughs> like, what is the point of having that many superheroes together in one place and not doing shit like that? Yeah. Oh, it's so on. good. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally for that, so... All right, folks, there you guys have it. Um, <clears throat> make sure you subscribe to Super Tuesday Recap so you can get all of our reviews. Uh, you know, Shannon and the Doctor have been doing great reviews on Super tu- uh, Supergirl, which is why I haven't watched Supergirl. That's wrong. I'm going to fix that. I know. Um, Deepom and I also did a mailbag episode. Um, Maggot is the worst X-Men there is, and um, there is no argument. I can't believe that it came the focus of the title. Like, I, 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 we talked about so much stuff, and I just I couldn't figure out what it was, and I was like, you know what? Maggot is the worst. I think that's that's just what we're gonna do. It, it's a great episode, though. I'm gonna get maggot truth. I'm gonna get min, ma, maggot truth in my mentions. Ah, uh, bring it. Everyone is someone's favorite X Men. That's the other rule. <laughs> right. The worst X Men. There's always somebody who loves them. Someone, who can, there's, there's some Geo Cities fan page. Well, you know what it is, really man. Active. You know what it is. It's because you know when you do the X Men, somebody can always relate to somebody on the X Men. It's just what it is, and so. They latch You're onto like that. Taking on the X Men. Right. So, so look, it was either it was either it was either do uh, talk about Maggot or is make the DCEU and the Justice League another the center of the episode. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to put the, the title, even though it's definitely in there. And uh, you're going to hear all three of us if you're a premium member talking Justice League spoilers. So make sure you sign up for MTR Premium. Uh, go to the MTR ne- MTRnetwork.net, and at the top you'll see the Black Friday sale, and you can sign up for there. You get twenty percent off your uh, premium membership. So. Sign up for that there, and you can get us. You can hear all three of us talking about Justice League. So uh, do that, folks. And uh, until next time, we are out of here. Peace.